Good morning! It is September 1st and I know it's not technically fall yet but to me that means fall and pumpkins and um, everything cozy. So it was 48 degrees when I walked the dogs this morning. It is supposed to get up into like the 80s or something today but um, it's just got that fall crispness in the air and I love it. Fall's my favorite. Um, this morning I am having some hot chocolate tea from David's Tea and I never used to think, thought, I didn't think before that I liked this tea, but I actually had this one with my um, little tea reading cup, which I haven't done a video on, but I was just experimenting with it. And I liked it a lot. And so I may or may not reorder this one. I'll have to decide, but I'm getting close to being able to order. But I'm starting with this hot chocolate tea and I am busy cleaning. The kids are actually at school today. They're only at school two days a week, and so it's the first full day for my youngest, and so I am I feel like I have so much time that I can just get organized, run some errands, hopefully get out the fall stuff, and I'm gonna get out my fall teacup, so I'm excited about that, and so I thought I'd make a teas I drink in a day video, and hopefully make pumpkin bread also. I have a lot of goals for today. We'll see how I do. <laughs> um, okay, that's it, so I'll show you what I drink later. This tea, I'm brewing for four minutes at 200 degrees. So as I'm getting ready for the day, I've gotten some chores and stuff done. Now I've got to run some errands. I'm drinking this tea from Bird and Blend the night before Christmas, and I'm using my Tea Makes Everything Better tea cup. And I just took my first sip. It's had to cool down a little bit. I wouldn't say this one's bad, but it's kind of got an odd mix of flavors to me. I'm not sure if this one will grow on me or not. I know I did try it before, but I can't remember what I thought of it. Obviously it's from like last Christmas in their tea subscription box, but it's got rooibos, uh, Chinese pu'er, Chinese lapsang, souchong, black tea, peppermint, safflower, and chili. So it's like smoky and minty. I don't really know if I'd taste the chili very much. Maybe just a little hint of spice in there. But, so this is what I'm drinking right now, and I'll be back later. Okay, I'm going to go run some errands. I'm making a, I made a matcha, iced matcha latte to take with me. And I used some of this silk protein milk. This is really good. This foams up pretty good too. To make like a latte, I'm almost out of this one. I think the girls have had this with a couple different teas for lattes and they liked it and so I added some mint humbug from Bird and Blend which I'm trying to finish up. I think there's just one or two more matchas worth in there and then a scoop of the ceremonial matcha from Adagio so I could have a little bit of the green tea in there since this one is um this one doesn't have green tea and then for my husband who's working at home I made him an ultraviolet matcha from Bird and Blend and that one's a little bit on the floral side, which is okay to me, but I don't love it, but he seemed to like it. So I made that one for him and I used just vanilla soy milk in his. So I am going to get going and I will be back later to show you what else we have. Okay, so it's evening, we've had dinner and um, everybody except Joshua wants a cup of tea. So I am finishing up this gingerbread chai from Bird and Blend for myself and for my husband. And I pulled out our fall mugs and I have peppermint and more for Abby from David's Tea. And then I have cotton candy for Ellie and she wants a latte. So I have about half the steeper with water with two scoops, two big scoops of tea. And then I have some milk frothing. So that is what we are having this evening. And I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.